starters for your L.A. Clippers. At the shooting guard position, standing 6'5", number 14, Terrence Mann. At center, 7'4", number 40, Ibiza Zumba. At the other guard position, standing 6'5", number 1, James Byron. Starting at small ball. Standing six foot eight, number 13, Paul Jones. Head forward, six seven, number two, Kawhi. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for James Harden. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. And I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Alex Caruso out there at the road. Then there's Dosunu, then it's White, and it's Vucevic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Clippers... Man in at shooting guard with George at small forward. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. And it's Harden in at the point. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Injuries certainly playing a factor for both teams, Greg, in this matchup. And Kevin, it's an unfortunate part of the game, but unavoidable. Every team deals with the injuries throughout the course of the season, so there's no time now for excuse. And that one, good. And one of White's biggest advantages, he's a 6'5 point guard. That allows him to see up over the top of the defense. Now here's Harden. Playing Houston, he was nearly unstoppable. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. And load management, First a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi, and Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Here's White. Turned in an outstanding game against Golden State. Caruso against George. Six to shoot. Now here's Dosumu. Defense right on him. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Now the Clippers with it. Harden outside. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. James Harden has made a living out of tough shot making. And I'll tell you, the defense pretty good right there. James Harden just better. White finds DeRozan. And there's a whistle. James That's going to go on James Harden. First personal foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Goes Hunu, the pass to Caruso. Now DeRozan. The three. One of the best defensive players in the entire league. Kawhi Leonard, so hard to get a clean look against him. Here's Harden. Rebound by the Bulls. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. White dishes to DeRozan. Shoots over Leonard. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. We are talking one of the most consistent, accomplished mid-range scorers in the NBA. DeRozan, it is effortless. A three from Leonard. Caruso grabs the miss. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. 
Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Now, here's George. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. Doesn't go for him. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Here's DeRozan. Shot clock at six. Here's Dosunmu. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. George against Caruso. Here's Leonard. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Hey, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Vucevic up top. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. The pass to White. And here is Dosumu. Outside DeRozan. And the Bulls with another miss. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. They get it back. Yep, that one goes in there. I just love to see Paul George mix it up on the backboard. He's got the size, speed, athleticism. Love it. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. DeRozan against Leonard. DeRozan, that's good. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Caruso against George. Shot from the wing. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. Now Chicago has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. This is it to Vucevic. Now here's Dosumu. Nothing on the board. The train hits the three-point bomb. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Harden scanning the floor. Over White. That one a little long. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. To the paint. Here's Vucevic, and he converts the layup. You have to admire the confidence of Nikola Vucevic. This close, he's focused on putting two on the board. Harden with it. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Here's Leonard. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. James Harden, assist. Bulls have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. To the inside. Poked away. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Zubas. It's getting late in the season. Let's now see the standings out east. Take a look at the Bulls. Winding things down this season. They're in that all-important ninth position within striking distance of a playoff spot. And when I look at Chicago, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. Here is Harden after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. The three from George finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. This guy practically automatic. Paul George in the catch and shoot. Look out. Pass to Caruso. Caruso sets the screen for White. DeRozan against Leonard. DeRozan passes to Dosumo. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. In these late stages of the season, Doris, all you have to do is look at the standings to see the importance of depth and what it means to these teams. Well, Kevin, 
the deeper your team, the more luxury you have of spreading out those minutes. You're trying to minimize injury by not overplaying your stars. Now, teams outside the playoff picture, they don't have that luxury typically. Norman Powell's checked in for Paul George. And Chicago also making a switch. Taylor's checked in. White against Harden. Second shot opportunity. That's good on the jump shot. Harden's got six. We know this about James Harden. If you want to force him to that in-between game, he is more than happy and content to take mid-range jumpers. Now here's White. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84% on the season. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubox. Amir Coffey comes in for Mann. And Bones Island subbed in for James Harden. Here's Plumley, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Now, Kawhi Leonard understands when and where to deliver the ball to his teammates. Pretty play. Carter, he's checked in for White. And Doris, how about Mason from last season changing to shoot set shots left-handed after almost a decade in the NBA? Uh, Kevin, this is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. To his credit, it worked. Career highs for Plumley from the field. So much of this is about confidence. Here's Highland. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. That's the power. Plumley with a screen on Caruso. A shot by Powell, no good. The Los Angeles Clippers coming to this one after the win against the Rockets. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score it the way they did on the road says a lot about their first, intensity first and focus. Power. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. First free throw is good. LGA for the Bulls, it's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation. That They don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. And Doris, the Clippers are moving into a new arena in Inglewood in 2024. Kevin, I think this is absolutely huge for the organization. Part of establishing your own identity in Los Angeles will be their new arena. So exciting for this fan base that's growing and growing. How about those instincts from the seven-footer? Vucevic uses that size to snag offensive rebounds. Out of bounds, it'll be the Bulls ball. And here we can check out the story for DeMar DeRozan. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Paul George comes in for Amir Coffey. The Bulls also changing it up. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic, and it's DeRozan in for Alex Caruso. And so Powell will bring it up to Los Angeles. George finds Highland. 58 seconds left in the first. Here's George. Over to the wing. Tucker the pass to Powell. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Clippers lead by three. Now Norman Powell has proven to be capable as a scorer. All three levels are part of his game. That time goes to the three ball. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Forty-three seconds left to play in the first quarter. Highland passes to George. And he finishes nicely on the way. And it's a five-point clipper lead. There's a little bit of strength to Paul George. Just shrugs off the contact. And DeRozan kicks to Carter. Carter sets the pick for Drummond. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Shot clock at five. 
Here's DeRozan. Here's Taylor. He gets it in there. Terry yeah, Taylor. coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out the rather the than box out. With the score. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Clippers ahead. Up three. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. Another strength for them today, guys, mid-range shooting. Normally, the defense wants to give you that shot. Let's see if they adjust at all. Bulls trail by three. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. You've got Terry. Taylor is out there at the Rosen. Then there's Andre Drummond, and it's Carter in at the one spot. It's deflected. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Carter's got his first bucket in this one. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. George passes to Plumley, and that one drops for him. Love the way Paul George shares the rock. Sometimes I think doesn't get enough credit for his ability as a distributor. Now the pass to Carter. Carter sets the pick for Drummond. Outside, Taylor. Outside, DeRozan. Pass to Drummond. Picks it out to Terry. Drummond sets the screen for Terry. Back to Drummond. Powell with the steal. And even three on three break. Pass to George. Pass to Highland. Three pointer. It's Drummond with the rebound. Bulls trail by three. Out to Carter. Drummond sets the screen for Carter. The feed to Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Boy, how about the quick elevation by Andre Drummond? Doesn't miss an opportunity when it's that easy. Island passes to George. Plumley sets the pick for George. Shoots over to Rosen. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Plumley's got six points. I love the determination he showed. They're getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Here's to Rosen. Drummond controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. The shot goes up. You've got to put a body on Andre Drummond. This guy's so good off the offensive window. On the wing, George. DeRozan defending. A nice shot by George. And it's Terry with the ball for Chicago. They trail by three. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Carter, the pass to Drummond. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be a Mason Plum. That is what we call grown man strength. Andre Drummond excels at brushing off the contact and converting anyway. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Zubac is checked in for Plum. Brown comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's James Harden in for Highland. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Chicago. Kobe White comes in for Carter. And here are the Bulls now. They come in fresh off the win against the Warriors. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. Here's the pass to Pop. A three. Drills the three-pointer. 
Powell's got his second basket of the game. Norman. You've got to be able to manipulate pick and roll. Norman Powell taking what the defense gives him. That's really nice. Passes it to Dosunu. Drummond with a screen on Powell. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down to just one on the basket from Drummond. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. George looking around. Brown sets a screen for George. Offline with his three. For Chicago, they've gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. And here is Dosumu. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Warriors in San Francisco. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. Here's Powell. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Hey, Greg, to touch on the Bulls for a moment, defense has been an emphasis for him. It has, and they went through several years playing subpar D, and it cost them. They began to turn things around a couple of seasons ago, and it has served them well. Harden outside, fires the three. The rebound by Dosunmu. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Pass to White. Drummond with a screen on Hart. White dishes to Drummond. Stolen by Zubac. Powell against DeRozan. Outside, George. Six on the shot clock. Over Terry. George, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Here's Dosunmu. Six points for him. That puts them in the lead. Dosunmu's got eight points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. DeMar DeRozan credits his upbringing in Compton, California for helping him make the person that he is today. He said, it gave me my toughness, my aggression. It matured me very fast into a man. That's something that to this day sticks with me. No matter what I get or how much I have now, I still remember what it feels like to have nothing. Kevin? That's a good thought to keep in your head. David, thanks. So, for the Clippers, Leonard comes in for Brown. Man subbed in for Paul George. Now Powell. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Houston. A three from Leonard. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got six rebounds in the game. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Light the bastard Osunu. He feeds it to Vucevic. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Vucevic has got the lead up to three now for the Bulls. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Harden the pass to Leonard. Yep, that one goes. Six points for Kawhi Leonard. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. And Vucevic kicks to Caruso. Lock at six. Kick by Vucevic. Here's Dosunmu. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Harden. Takes it off the glass. Harden's got eight points. 
Well, Harden has made a career of his ability to navigate into the painted area. Boy, this guy, if he gets inside, look out. Turn the lights out. Vucevic setting the pick for White. He dishes it to Vucevic. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Mason Plumley's checked in for Los Angeles. Amir Coffey comes in for Powell. Tamar DeRosa, he's checked in for Chicago. White against Harden. Leonard, that's for two. Again, the Clippers. This guy has such a nose for the basket. Kawhi Leonard not afraid to let it fly on the catch. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And for that game against the Bulls, that's going to be one where it should take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Clippers team. And this game will be half of the contest they'll play against each other this year. It's an interesting matchup. Two teams that don't know each other all that well. Separate conferences. We'll see which one can dictate the pace early. The Clippers trail. Here's Mann. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Houston. From T. Harden. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Caruso, a screen on Leonard. Pass to Caruso. Five to shoot. Vucevic finds DeRozan. And with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Tries the spin move. It'll count. And that shot was up in time, but does go in. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Clippers lead by one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the baskets, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. And for their matchup with the Mavericks, well, it should be competitive throughout. Neither team with a clear edge. I just think it's too close to call. You are so afraid to make a pick, huh? Typical Kenny. Oh. All right, guys, let's talk about our game. The LA Clippers are in a close one. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offensive end and they don't miss a beat. Makes things a little easier on the starters, but in the second half, they're going to have to bring it as well. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. He 
you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Ivica Zubas. Then it's Harden, and it's Mann in at the two. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Man passes to Zubats. Uses the glass to finish the lane. White's got nine. Yeah, attacking the interior is something White does well. He's crafty, and he makes good adjustments against the defense. Harden against White. Here's the two drop. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down to a single point after the basket from Harden. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Caruso, the pass to White. Vucevic a screen on Hart. Down low. And Vucevic with the basket on the assist by White. And that's 11 points for Vucevic. Wow, what a start. 3-4-3, three three, terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Incredible wingspan, unbelievable hands. The alley-oop is easy. The Bulls have gone 3-3 three three from the field since halftime. Hard DeRozan on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Harden the pass to George. George double teamed. A three from Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Now, Paul George is always about making the right play. What a pretty pass. Chicago trailing here. Outside DeRozan. To the middle. White against Harden. Six to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Here's Dosunmu. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. Up top, Leonard. White covering. Now here's Leonard. 13 points in the game. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. We've seen this script before. Kawhi Leonard starts early and continues throughout the course of the night. Defense is in for a long haul. Here's DeRozan, and that one is good. Ten points for DeMar DeRozan. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard looking around. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Love to see that kind of burst from Kawhi Leonard. What a finish. Outside DeRozan. Caruso sets the screen for DeRozan. And the rejection by Zubats. Leonard dishes to Hart. And it's George finishing it off. You see an opportunity for Paul George to say the athleticism is still a part of who I am. Bulls trail by six. Caruso with the ball. No scoring in this one. Harden against White. Out to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Picked by Vucevic. Here's Dosunmu. Good on the triple. Dosunmu's got 13 points. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Shoots from the baseline. Caruso grabs the miss. And so Caruso will bring up the ball for the Bulls. It's a three-point game. And there's the pass to DeRozan. Now here's Caruso. 
Passes to Vucevic. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Mann. Vucevic defending. Harden outside. Zubats a screen on Caruso. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Gosumu. First Make no five. mistake, with that frame and that touch, Zubat's a tough cover in close. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. The Bulls have shot 80% for the lines and I going four to five so far. Line for the Bulls, Alex Caruso, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Los Angeles making a switch here. Lumley's checked in. And so Caruso nails both of them. The Clippers have gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this court. What a fantastic start to the half. Pass to Leonard. Over Taylor. And the Clippers miss again. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. White against Harden. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Outside, White. Down to five on the shot clock. Vucevic a screen on power. Here's Dosunmu. And it's all evened up. Dosunmu's got 15. And Los Angeles, guys, uh, shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. There's the screen. Here's Leonard. Los Angeles with another miss. The Bulls shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thank you, Kevin. The Bulls lean in on their veteran core. Zach Levine said, you just got to be consistent every day and have championship habits. Each and every day, you've got to have a goal in mind and get to that mindset of, we're building for something. We've all sacrificed a little bit for the greater good. Kevin? And that's what we're talking about. That's what it takes. David, thanks. Out to White. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Vucevic against Plumlee. Low block shot. And Vucevic throws it down. Well, Nikola Vucevic can score against excellent defense. That is a good finish in close. Taylor against Leonard. Over Taylor. And it's the Clippers scoring again. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Time out, time out. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. So for the Clippers, Amir Coffey's checked in for Paul George. And Bones Island subbed in for James Harden. Clippers Spirit Dance Team. Let's hear it. And here's Vucevic. He's got 13. Carter inside the three-point line. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. 
outside Two left. Minutes remaining in the third and Plumley kicks Two to Powell. Pass to Coffee. A second chance effort. Here's Plumley. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Carter looking around. Terry the pass to Taylor. Shot clock at six. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Now this guy is a crafty scorer. If Vucevic starts to cook, fellas, look out. The Clippers have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Island against Carter. The pass to Coffey. Island with it. Here's the three. Here's Leonard. And good work on the boards that pick up the second chance points. Leonard's got 23 points. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Passes it to Vucevic. Pass to Carter. Vucevic setting the pick for Carter. From 12 feet out. Tries it from 19. And Vucevic with the basket on the assist from Carter. Vucevic has got it all tied up now for the Bulls. Leonard against Taylor. Plumley sets the pick for Leonard. Count it and the foul. That one on Vucevic as we approach the fourth quarter. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. He's 0 of 1 from the line, missing on his first trip. Bulls trail by three. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Terry outside. Just five to shoot. Carter outside for three. Another three for Chicago. Oh, he nearly got it. That's a miracle. Are you kidding me? Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close. And let's take a listen now to Coach Teron Liu. You got to make the right play like you've been doing all night, all right? They're going to try to help and tag. You got to make the right play, finish, and make the right pass, all right? Well, you know what, Greg? You got to like what Coach Ty Liu is saying. Telling his guys to take what they see. I mean, keep it simple. Don't rush it. Let's just stay focused. Really good advice. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. We've got DeRozan, Carter out there with Terry. Then there's Andre Drummond, and it's Taylor in at the power forward. Carter sets the pick for Drummond. Now Taylor, outside DeRozan. And the Bulls, another three. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. Leonard the pass to George. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. And it's sent back by Drummond. Twice on the pipe. Send it back, Andre Drummond. Here's Terry. to take the lead. Back to Carter. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Phillips, he's checked in for Three Chicago. The floor for the Bulls. Number 15, Julian Phillips. Just two to shoot. Carter with a three. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got six rebounds in the game. Powell kicks to George. Back to Powell. From 13. 
And again, it's the Clippers missing. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Terry outside. DeRozan a screen on Powell to take the lead. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Highland. A three from Leonard. Demar DeRozan grabs the board. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Pulls up on the wing. They get the rebound. And Drummond throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebound and going to work on the board. What Start. about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. And the Clippers call time here. A different look for the Clippers. P.J. Tucker comes in for Leonard. And James Harden has subbed in for Highland. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for the Bulls. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lewis and talked to the team. He said in the huddle, you got to play some defense in the paint. They're getting too much in there. Battle down low. Time to fight, guys. All right, David, thanks. Back to Carter. Popped up there for Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. Andre Drummond showing you I am a vertical threat at the cup. Look out. Carter against Harden. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And the basket is good. This is one of the specialty shots in James's arsenal. This guy with the teardrop floater. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Good night. Drummond sets the screen for Caruso. Inside. Plumley with some nice D. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. George, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. DeRozan a screen on Hart. Carter down low, guarded by Harden. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. The other thing for this team today, they have a bunch of second-chance points. They're turning misses into makes. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for Plum. And Kawhi Leonard comes in for P.J. Tucker. Here's DeRozan, and he uses the glass on the late. Boy, how about the body control from DeMar DeRozan? Just an outstanding score despite the hit. Harden with it. Al guarded by DeRozan. Harden the pass to George. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number eight here in this one already. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Hands the 12 footer. DeRozan's got seven now in this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And he makes good on the way. Leonard's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. The toughness and tenacity very much describe Kawhi Leonard's game. For Chicago, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. On the pass to Caruso. Outside, White. Pass to Vucevic. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got seven rebounds in the game. 
George passes to Leonard. Gets the bucket and the foul. That one on DeRozan. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Mans checked in for Powell. And the Bulls making a change also. Dosumu's checked in. Watching Kawhi enter the league as a lockdown defender and now become an all-around champion. Boy, what a career he has had. Chicago calls timeout. We have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Pass to Dosumu. Here's White, guarded by Harden. A shake. A putback. And it's put back in by Vucevic. A skilled offensive rebounder who doesn't mind a putback on occasion. Vucevic with the easy one. Harden against White. Zubac kicks to Leonard. Left side, George. Yep, it counts. George has got five points now in the quarter. How about the triple drive ability of Paul George? The quick handles for a guy his size. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. with a screen on Caruso. Here's George. Another one falls for the Clippers. Man, he needs to have quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Bulls trail by five. Now, here's DeRozan. Pass to White. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Clippers. Here's Man. The rebound by Dosunmu. Caruso against George. And it goes down two points. Vucevic has got 12 points here in the second half. Wow, Vucevic with the big time delivery. The Montenegrin says, that's my shot. Foul Chicago. Alex Caruso. First personal foul. Second team foul. It's the line for LA. Paul George. Two shot. Free throw good from George. Well, you have to respect the career of Paul George. Uh, he has faced at one point a career ending injury. He keeps battling to get back on the floor through constant injury. Well, this is the kind of player he is. The tougher the moment, the more he elevates his game. DeRozan against Leonard, 18 feet out. Paul George grabs the miss. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. The pass to man. Leonard inside, defended by Caruso. And George gets it to go. The countless hours Paul George has put into that three-point shooting, a huge part of his development. DeRozan against Leonard. Let's it go from 11, and it's DeRozan missing. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. in the fourth quarter. Outside, White. Vucevic setting the pick for White. Five on the clock. Out to the right wing. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just six points on the bucket from Vucevic. Vucevic so confident in himself and his teammates come along with him. 
here's George. And the layup is good. Lewis in here pros, even with the game firmly in hand. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. There's 45 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's DeRozan. Sinks it after the KG pump fake. <laughs> this is why they want the ball in DeRozan's hand. This guy is stone cold under pressure. And so they choose to intentionally foul. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. And they go to the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. James Harden brings tremendous versatility. He can score it. He can distribute. Whatever you need from him offensively, he can provide it. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And an intentional foul right there. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on him. This free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a seven-point game. Perfectly done at the strike there. That brings their lead up to an even more comfortable level. Chicago calls timeout. They're behind by seven. We've got 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Let's make some noise. So at Chicago now, DeRozan finds Caruso. White. That three off the mark. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. They lead by seven. Harden with it. So the Clippers with the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. BG, congratulations coming into the game. What was the focal point? Defense. I mean, we still allow too many points. Um, we got to get better on defense. That was the emphasis coming into today. Defense. Uh, it's an area we got to improve. Uh, but tonight, our offense got us over the hump. Any way you get the dub is the good way. So congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.